it sounds like most people are communicating through the chat. Um, hey, we're live now. Oh, okay. Go, Allison. <laughs> I think I did something. <laughs> All right, thank you. Yeah. So now, we're, so now we're we're live on the on the tool. Okay. So let's see if it's actually yeah, on. We're trying with our team that it's working. Thank you all for, for being the first session. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. It's always a guinea pig moment. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I'm trying to read back through the. I think we've covered most of the questions. Okay. Well. I think we only have a couple minutes left here. I want to just yeah, so should, right. suggest that I, I think what we need to do is kind of identify, you know, the most top five interesting places it would be to go add messages to APIs, you know, looking at things like volume migration and, you know, whatever we think people use a lot that are likely to have failures and kind of sketch out what the next few are that we should add because it's not terribly hard to add this stuff. Um, we just need to kind of figure out what the useful places are to do that. To yeah, that's a good, that's a good point. I think we should add that as a PTG topic because we're kind of light on those anyway. Um, yeah, so the, the client API can display the messages. Um, as Eric said earlier, there's some, um, integration with some of the calls. So if you're polling, um, I think polling on the volume create, if an error occurs that also has a message associated with it, you can, you will get the message. Um, but also you can just use the, um, well, the Python sender client, right? I don't know about the open stack. Yeah, I don't, I don't admit. think it's integrated to any of the things like volume creation and OpenStack client. Right. Um, that could be done for sure, but I don't think that has happened. So yeah, it's so a partial answer there. As far as the question about extending the message list for vendor drivers, oh. I think probably we don't want to do that um, because in general, you probably want to end up with a message from the volume manager that tells you, you know, the back end failed to do X. Probably having vendor specific info coming out of this API is not really the right place for it. Yeah, I agree. I think, um, right, for the, yeah. so the, the particular backends and the drivers can log messages and then the operators can find them. But we want to keep these very generic um, so that. We want them to be consistent across clouds, and we also want them to not give away um, information about the configuration or about the particular backends in use. Um, so that's with that. And then I lost track of like what time we're supposed to end. So I think we have like six minutes left. Okay. So I will shut up because I've talked. Yeah, we go till eight fifteen. Okay. Central. <laughs> oh, you just happen to be on the correct uh, time zone. Yes. I got to do that for using my time conversion. That just work. Okay, we're up to 127 people, so that's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's that's crazy, <laughs> and yet it's still quiet. I know. We've never had a room where we could actually fit 127 people. I don't think for this. No, that's. <laughs> Probably not true. We've definitely never had 127. <laughs> okay. So someone asked, okay, there are just two Cinder discussions this week. Yes, so that's that's true. There's another one on Wednesday. Um, information's at the top of the etherpad. Also, um, I did wanna say, so we have the PTG happening next week which is where the design sessions are being done. Um, so we're still in the process of planning exactly what we'll be discussing. So if there are particular items that uh, you would like the team to discuss or bring to our attention, I put a link to the planning etherpad 
on the etherpad for this session. So feel free to put information on there. Um, if you'd like to attend, that's fine because we have plenty of room since it's being held virtually. Um, but also if, if there's something you'd like the team to discuss, there's a particular problem that you'd like to make us aware of, that would be a great thing to do to just put some information on the sheet. And if you can make it, that's good. If you wouldn't be able to attend, but still want to bring it to our attention, if you could just put sufficient detail on the etherpad, that'll be great and we can still discuss it. Um, okay, if we need more time, we can run long, but um, so that's a possibility, but um, I'm going to shut up so that other people can speak. I, I feel like I got to fill the time and that's not good. Yeah, so as far as the internationalization goes, um, let's come up again in the, uh, we should be able to use, right, the regular Python translation of strings. And then um, if we recognize the headers that are coming from Horizon, we should be able to reply with the correct um, language user message, just using the regular HTTP functions. Um, so I'll look into that to verify um, that we've got that set up properly. And that's, um, that's but my we, understanding of how that's supposed to work, yeah. Yeah, so I think it's just a matter of making sure that the proper headers are being passed. Um, but these are all marked as translatable strings in the code, so they should, theoretically, everything should work fine. Okay, so we're, we're closing in on the end of the session. Um, so if you have general points or you wanna follow up on this, um, the etherpad's a good place to uh, put more questions. I also, um, in the Cinder project information for general on line 28 on uh, the etherpad for this session, there's our contributing page. Um, even if you're not planning to contribute, it's actually a useful place to go to see all the deliverables of our project and how we communicate. So if you wanna communicate with us, there's the mailing list, there's also IRC, and you can also show up to one of the Cinder weekly meetings to bring something to our attention. Um, so please take advantage of those. We like to hear from users because it's really helpful to know what it is that people are uh, focusing on so that we can focus our efforts as we stabilize the service and add features. Um, all right, so I said it wasn't gonna fill time, but I obviously did not stick to that. Um, thank, thank you everyone for attending. Um, it was quite um, a great number of people. Um, and please continue to uh, stay in touch with us as a project. We have another session at um, I think it's 11 o'clock central time. So you can do the conversion to your local one on Wednesday. Um, that one's focused on, oh, the third party CI. Um, so you might want to attend that and also give you an opportunity to ask more questions. So thank you for everyone for attending and uh, enjoy the rest of the uh, conference. Cool. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, everybody, for attending. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks. Thanks for taking the notes, uh, Jay. Yeah, no problem. Back, back to my old MO. Bye. Bye. Yeah, thanks, Yvonne. Bye.
So I, am I supposed to just like end this or? Uh, question from my side. Sure. Uh, how to log into the server again to hop to another meeting. It is so overloaded, you even cannot log in anymore. Oh. Oh. That I do not know. Um, but if, if you have an internal communication channel, please let them know. Okay. Um, I will, um, there's like a speaker support email, I'll just send them something right away. So so the problem is just the, the general site is kicking people yeah, but, off. Well, you have a nice navigation on, on the page, you know, which is, yeah, you click your meetings, it's personalized, but you cannot get, even get a look in anymore. Yeah, oh, okay. it, it, all what you see is checking credentials and then the thing is gone. That's been happening to me too, okay. Um, I know, I know that's not. That yeah, well, at least much. it's a try. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's, hap it's happened to me too. Now, one thing I did notice, though, partly, well, this only helped part way to get to a different error message. I have privacy badger on um, my web browser, and that apparently is interfering with some of the widgets that they've got on the site pages. So you might want to check to see if you've got any kind of blocking stuff in your yeah. web browser I, I even use i in the home office i even use my personal pc because with the pc at work it doesn't work at all right so okay. uh, and they have firefox you know and it worked at the beginning yeah yeah an hour ago but now nothing happens anymore okay yeah i, I think you may be right that it's just a overload situation but i'll send the message to uh Yeah, I just so that they're aware. Um, so thanks and sorry. Thank you very much. That. Okay, have a good time. Bye bye. Yeah, goodbye. Thank you. Yeah, we still have people here, so I'm, I'll hang out for a while if um, people have questions um, and want to follow up. But officially, the session's over, so um, although as Rudolph was saying, you may not be able to join the other sessions you want to join anyway.